Another week and another match to defend the undefeated streak for Carter King. This time is against Tim Means. He's 91 overall, but Carter is already in the octagon and he's ready to go. So Carter at this stage of his career is 28 years of age. He's 5'11", 170. Uh, pretty much comparable stats in there for Tim Means. He's a little bit taller and then reach is a lot more significant than what Carter has. Now he's 32 and 13 and 1. Carter again a perfect 26 and 0. Trying to fight his way to be 30 and 0. He wants to be the greatest fighter of all time, the pound for pound greatest champ of all time, and he doesn't want to let go of that belt that he's got. So right now we are lighting Tim Means up, but he goes for a nasty kick to the knee that drops us and makes us crumble. Now Carter's back here throwing some hands, hits with a high kick now, another high kick, but it's blocked by Tim Means. Carter's moving in for the kill, and he drops Means. It's super early, and Carter's got him down. He's going for the ground and pound. Tim Means just got destroyed. 32 seconds. That's already one of the fastest knockouts that Carter has had. I believe his fastest was 27 seconds earlier. Correct me if I'm wrong. But Carter King is a savage. Look at this kick. The heel right to the temple. Completely destroys Tim Means. And Carter moves on to hold that belt and gets another win in his already impressive career to get win number 27. So in the card, you can see that uh, McDonald ended up beating Robertson. Carter obviously won his match. But look how close we are to a million fans. We are just 13,000 shy. And against Ryan LaFleur right here, he's a 95 overall uh, boxer. I feel like we have a chance to get that a million fans we've been desperately wanting. And that'll help strengthen our career, maybe give us a few more matches to our career. Now, what's kind of scary right now is that even though Carter's undefeated, he is getting older. He's 29 years of age at this point, as you can see here against LaFleur. LaFleur is 41, but I don't know if Carter's going to have too many more matches in him at this point. He's taken a lot of damage throughout all these fights. And right now, the UFC is saying, look, you might have to retire soon. Because you've taken a lot of shots to the head and a lot of shots to the body, but what? LaFlair's not going to dap us up. You guys already know what happens. If you don't dap up Carter King, we're coming out and we're trying to make you pay. But here LaFlair's coming out with some good defense and Carter lands a couple kicks. But LaFlair's got some good jazz and some good crosses there. A nice hook lands and put Carter in some pain. Now double kicks there. Carter goes for a third kick and it lands. LaFlair goes for a takedown and it doesn't work. Carter is dropping bombs right now. What is LaFlair doing? His defense looked good early on in the first, but here... Carter is making him pay another kick to the face. How is this dude still standing? Someone tell me how LeFleur is still standing at this point. Carter's got him in the corner, but LeFleur is landing kicks and punches. And Carter has to back up with another kick and another one. How is this dude not dropped? I don't understand it. Carter has lit him up so many times, and LeFleur is still standing. But again, LeFleur, this dude's got to be tough. He's 41 years of age, and you would think someone at 41 would be getting knocked out with multiple kicks and punches to the face, but apparently not. Now, Carter's trying to get an arm bar here. Can the 41-year-old get out of this one? Carter's looking good so far here, trying to get it locked in, cannot get to the second stage so far, and what is going on with Carter's submission game? Early on in his career, he was one of the best submission artists out there, but recently, he's been struggling. Now, we're going for the guillotine instead of the arm bar. The guillotine is looking a little bit more successful, but the first round comes to an end. LaFleur's going to get out of that one. He got lucky, because I feel like Carter's guillotine is his best submission. LaFleur's face is completely pummeled right now. And we're heading into round two, hoping that Carter King can finish this one, because I don't know, this dude is like the Terminator. The more we hit him, the harder he comes at us. I'm kind of nervous right now. now. Carter's landing some punches, but LaFleur lands a good shot of his own, a good significant strike. Carter's going to get some space here, tries to land a kick. LaFleur answers with a nice combo to the face, another punch to the body here. Four minutes left here in the second round. Carter's trying to find a way to get another kick. Doesn't land, and he gets a back kick. But what is going on? LaFleur is not even flinching. Is our stamina so low at this point? What is happening? And LaFleur goes for a takedown. Carter answers with a nice reigning uh, kick. We go to the clinch and Carter works his way out of it. Another kick to the face. How is this guy still standing? He's working the body and now Carter is hurt. Carter has got to be careful. He's backing up. He's in a terrible spot. He's against the cage. He lands a kick and LaFleur is down. Carter finished this fight. This is your opportunity. But LaFleur again gets things going right. Finds a way to get his head on straight. But Carter says, you know what? I'm going to try to finish this fight right here. Carter has got him nearly against the cage. He's landing punches. He's going for the uppercut, it's not working, LeFlair goes back to the body, and again, Carter is hurt, but he hits LeFlair again, he's down. Carter, finish this one, this is your chance. And Carter is going to retain the belt, moving on to 28-0. Had to be nervous there, Carter was against the cage, his midsection was hurt, I believe he got a liver shot that kind of hurt him a lot, but he lands this disgusting heel hook right to the face, and that drops LeFlair. His face is completely bloody, Carter took some damage, but not nearly as bad as we've seen in previous fights. And he moves on to hold the belt, getting the 28th win of his career, I believe. What an unreal fight. So Carter now has a million fans. And the good news for us is that's going to help increase, uh, help increase the longevity of Carter's career. So you can see right now that Carter's got one more block until he hits retirement. Oh boy, he's going up against Nick Diaz. If anybody can deal out punishment, 
it's Nick Diaz. This dude can take punishment, he can deal it out. He's a scrappy veteran, but he's 42 years of age. But if we've seen anything at this point, age does not matter in the UFC. We fought LaFlair last time, who was 41, and that dude took a lot of punishment. Nick Diaz is 48 and 20. That's an insane amount of fights in anyone's career. And that dude's 42 and he's still throwing bombs. So Carter's got to be careful. We're going up here in the match to see if we can dap him up. Will he dap us? Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I've seen worse. He gave us a little bit of a dap, so we'll give him some respect here. So Carter's going to dap him up at the start of the match. See what he can do. A nice Superman punch is able to land. But look at Diaz with a high kick. So Carter's backing up a little bit, hitting Diaz with a nice kick. Diaz showing the defense. So at 42, he's still pretty agile because he's shaking around, not letting Carter get the punches that he wants. Another kick to the face there after Diaz has a good combo, and Carter is landing shots right now. Diaz is looking hurt, but he comes back with an elbow of his own to put Carter into a world of pain. Now Carter trying to land one there for the body, doesn't work. Diaz steps out of it, but again, two head shots in a row, almost three in a row. Carter has got to be feeling confident, and look at Carter flexing on him. Carter flexes on Nick Diaz, Diaz rushes at him, and Carter says, you know what, I was planning to do that, I kicked you right in the face. Now Diaz is coming back, he looks angry now, I think we've angered him a little bit. Moving on to the close of the first round, Carter is going for multiple kicks, and Nick Diaz looks like Neo in the Matrix. We're not able to land those shots. Now, Superman Punch does have Diaz staggered. A flying knee lands. Another kick there is blocked by Diaz. We got him against the cage. A body shot is looking pretty solid there. But Diaz is coming back with his own. Carter is hurt to the midsection. A nice kick landed by Carter. Diaz is stumbling around. Carter's got him here. Can he drop him now? This is the perfect opportunity. But there's not enough stamina, not enough power behind those punches. And Diaz gets out of that one. Close to the first round, Carter gets multiple kicks to land. Can we get a knockout right now? Unfortunately, we can. Nick Diaz is one of the toughest people in the UFC. You saw it there. We had him against the cage. We had him hurt. But we could not finish the fight right at that point. Now, Carter moves into the clinch, trying to go to a tie clinch here. We're going to try and get some nasty moves going on. But look, we got a chance for an arm bar. Carter goes for the flying arm bar. Can he lock it in? It's one of his favorite moves. He hasn't used it in a while. But look at the defense by Nick Diaz. He's able to push out of that one. Carter can't even get to the second opportunity there. So our ground game, not that good against Diaz. He's a perfect 100 overall in every single category. Even at the age of 42, that's kind of insane. Now Diaz comes through with a few shots of his own. Ducks that spinning back fist. He goes for a low kick. Carter goes for a high one. Carter goes back to the high kick and that one lands. Getting some separation here. Diaz tries to go in. And oh, Carter's down. He got hit in the leg just as he's going up for a flying kick. But he's able to get his composure back. You know, a Superman punch and an elbow. A couple uppercuts here and landing. Carter's trying to finish this fight. He's got Diaz in a terrible spot, but Diaz is retaliating with some good punches. A nice elbow. Carter is hurt. His stamina is low. We've got to get that back up. Now Carter hits a Superman punch. A couple combos and landing there. Diaz goes right to the body, and Carter is hurt. This is not a good spot. Diaz can easily knock us out here with a good time body shot. He's going for him. He's going to miss. Carter hits him in the face. He's got him. Diaz goes for the takedown, and Carter hits him with the knee. This could be it. Can Carter get his 29th win? They're going to stop the match. 29-0. Carter King remains undefeated. I honestly thought he was going to lose there, but somehow, someway, Nick Diaz goes for the takedown. Carter has a perfectly timed flying knee that completely destroys Nick Diaz's face. Unbelievable performance. Can we get to 30-0? When are we going to retire? We'll see what happens in the very next episode. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit the like button to share your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.